Hi everyone, I'm Tom Letty and I'm an Architect Evangelist at Salesforce. This video is part of our Getting Started with Salesforce Diagrams video series, and today we're going to convert the diagram from our Diagram Anti-Patterns video into a Level 2 Documentation and Implementation Diagram that shows the solution architecture for a specific process. Let's get started. We have another video that covers diagram levels, so make sure to check that one out to get a deep dive into all of the levels. But to give you a little bit more information about what you'll find in a level two diagram, so if you think about a level one diagram as being this big picture overview, like a system landscape diagram, a level two diagram is like zooming into just part of that diagram and showing the specific components that are related to that solution architecture, along with some additional details about those components. Now, a level one diagram might have multiple level two diagrams because each one is zooming in on a different part of the overall architecture. And the audience for a level two diagram is going to be business stakeholders, kind of like product owners. Maybe we're not at that executive level anymore like we were with the last diagram, but it's also going to be technical delivery teams because we've got that additional level of detail that we're going to be able to show in this diagram. All right, here we are in Lucidchart. Let's make a copy and we'll get rid of anything in the diagram that isn't applicable for an L2. Now, we're only showing the solution architecture that's related to donor management, so some of these systems aren't even going to be applicable. They're going to go in their own separate L2 diagrams that are relevant for the processes that they support. All right, let's go ahead and add our header, and I'm going to kind of breeze through some of these steps because you can learn more about how to use all of the shapes in our kit of parts video. Next, we're going to add a card for Salesforce and the specific components that we want to include in this solution architecture. So I've got NPSP and a DocuSign app. We're going to add our footer icons to show the specific platform features we want to use, like flow and duplicate checking. And of course, we're going to put those in our key as well. And then there are a couple external systems that are also part of the solution architecture. So let's add a card for WordPress and another one for DocuSign. All right, now we'll add our connectors. And since we're starting to get a little bit more granular than we did with our system landscape diagram, we're also going to add some text pills to our connectors so that we can add some additional details. All right, let's clean everything up and take a look at the finished diagram. Notice that this looks a lot more straightforward than what we had earlier, and it looks like a more zoomed in version of our system landscape diagram that only shows the systems we're really going to care about when we talk about this process but it shows more details about those systems so our audience can see exactly what they need to see to understand how they fit together. Okay, so that's a level two documentation and implementation diagram. In our next video, we're gonna make a level three documentation and implementation diagram, so make sure not to miss that one. As a matter of fact, we have a lot of other great videos in this series, so make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of them. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.